Welcome everybody, this is Creative Kingfisher and today I have got my, um, what is normally my meal plan spread but I want to combine some wellness in with it because the meal plan is going so well that I want to include some relaxation time, some exercise. So I've got a few words here that I'm going to go over with a nice pen and I'm going to do a lovely decorate. So I'm going to put some indications in as to when the relaxation and exercise is going to happen but this is a before the pen mainly, so mainly a decorate. So guys, first of all, haven't really been using this one for forever so I'm thinking of using some of these from here to combine with a spread. I've also got um, kind of a plan functionals, you know what they're called, Rem rainbow basics. So I think I'm going to use these as the boxes. These beautiful beautiful flowers from um, Live Love Posh and this makes me think of wellness, do you know what I mean? It makes me feel kind of like peaceful and calm and everything so I liked that and then I've got some a selection of washies of which at the moment I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use but I do think I might use some so I hope you guys are well if you've not found me before then please subscribe um, I don't think you'll be disappointed or you can wait to the end of the spread and then decide but um, if you're new thank you for joining me so I kind of done this um, this lettering which I learnt from kind of a plan. I can't remember what it's called now. It's obviously not the brush lettering but it is very effective. Let's get that in first. Not spend too long on it. Um, I've got so much to tell you guys. If you're one of my followers that have been following me for a while I've got so many things to say. But what I like to do is I like to get the spread going and then when I get more confident with the way the spread is looking then I can update you on a few things. But suffice to say, then we're having a bit of a, a heat spell and we're about to go into a, like a really, really warm spell. Um, and we've even had weather warnings, uh, which doesn't happen very often when it comes to warm weather for us. So it is hot, so I've decided to do this in the evening rather than during the day. And I've had a fabulous, fabulous day with the grandchildren. They've been really good today. And we've tried to kind of go inside and outside and just not spend too long in the sun because one of them is is a little blondie. Uh, the other one's darker skinned, but one of them is quite fair. So, okay, there we go. So what I'm thinking of doing then is I'm thinking of using this for the thoughts about my relaxation, this for the thoughts about my exercise, and this will be for my main meal in this week. So I've been doing really well with the meals and I think the main meal is the one that I need to make sure that I remember what it's going to be. So let me think about how I want this layout to happen. So first of all, I think absolutely want to put that corner one in. So let's do that first. I'm sure I'm going to need my tweezers for this. Right. I was going to go swimming today in the swimming pool, local swimming pool. I had a really bad night's sleep and I woke up really late so that was the end of that but maybe I needed it. So I actually felt quite refreshed in the end this morning. This one did not want to come up. I probably had to edit out rather a lot there so you guys weren't just sitting there waiting for the event you know. So I think I'm going to put that one there. So pretty isn't it and get a large box in which I think I might like to put say so this is the exercise one so put that one there and get another floral in over it I think I hope they're not all going to be that difficult to pull up because um be waiting too long otherwise so let me see if I can not stab myself so one of my boys came back I don't know whether it's sunstroke exactly but what I can say is that he didn't he doesn't like wearing a hat but it's hot enough for one so he came back really overcome with the heat I felt a bit sorry for him because he was a bit he was a bit shocked I think at how poor he felt but after 15 minutes he kind of recovered and now we went down and got the hair cut so he was all right, but I did feel for him a little bit. 
like because this is quite a strong color and I like it but I'm probably gonna ring the changes a bit so I might do a little bit of layering so let me think um, let's put that one there there we go let me see let me see let me see um, I think the pale one actually although I'm not that keen on it I do think it'll work well with this spread so I don't think I'll go crazy with I might choose this one I can go down here so guys my little bit of news is that I met with a designer for my sticker book we sat and we spent about an hour and a half together and I'm really confident that she knows what I'm talking about and that she's going to help me with um, the projection of the book to be to be great I'm really excited I need to do some more paintings but I know which ones that I want to do because she was able to show me where the gaps were in the different kind of what I would call them um, sets of pictures you know that go together so I feel I feel more confident about how to move forward was I was a little bit confused because I think there's so many different layouts you can have for sticker books that it can be a bit of a minefield you know I want it to work in the way that I would plan but I also want it to be the type of book that um, people want as well so we were kind of discussing lots of different ideas but I feel like I've come away with renewed kind of confidence and enthusiasm I just need to get on and churn out a few more paintings for her to use obviously the thing is always with the situation that I'm in is distribution to the USA I don't foresee that many people will want to pay the tax and VAT on one sticker book so um, maybe you guys could tell me if you think almost like a little subscription box or not necessarily um, a subscription box regularly but a little box put together might be helpful so that if it was a sticker book plus washi tape etc um, but other than that I'll be looking for ways to get that distribution going well, this is just look at this it's amazing isn't it i think i might try and get that in um because that's what i'm going to need to do i'm sure there will be some people in the uk that will buy from me and it will be lovely to have that support but the reality is, is that 80 90 percent of you are going to be buying from the usa so i need to find a way of getting that book over there so that people aren't going to pay a huge amount extra for my book because there's plenty of choice and I don't think um, that would make much business sense really so yeah really excited so I might do a double page spread of like a project to get my newest and latest ideas down on I'm going to put that one there so I've got a little bit of structure there so I'm going to look at these now so what I was thinking is, now that I've managed to crack the dieting per se, I mean, I I'm, I'm just feel like I've really got it in my head of what I can eat and what I can't, and I've got that. But what I, ha I don't think I'm so good at is the exercise. So I want to really concentrate on that mainly, but I also want to put some self-care in as well. So I'm gonna use this little lotus flower as the self-care, and maybe use a different combo of colours so get this one out so I'm thinking on a Monday Monday morning it's going to be self clear um, and on a Thursday morning because we have the grandchildren in the afternoon so I feel like that's quite important let's put that there and then because my husband and I tend to go out for a bit of a treat time kind of you know over lunch and that here gonna pop one just there so that's the relax and self-care um, but I can put other things in here like you know I can use it as a painting time as well because painting is 
it's quite kind of therapeutic for me. Once I've got my ideas and my drawings down and sitting and painting for an evening, it is quite relaxing. I mean, it's, it's not if it goes wrong kind of thing, a good way to relax. So if I use one of those kind of here, Let's use one Tuesday. I'm gonna say we put one in on Friday. And because I'm actually concentrating on painting at the moment for the sticker book, then I'm gonna just pop one in on here as well. And if it doesn't go to plan, that's fine. At least I've got reminders of what it is I need to be doing. Then exercise, I'm going to use this little heart here. So, um, I'm going to try and go swimming. So if I put that down on a Monday, and I mean, it'd be amazing if I can get to go twice a week. So I'm going to aim for it. It won't be a Thursday. It will be a Wednesday. And it would be a little walk, not much I'm guessing, but I'm going to pop in a little walk. I walk up to my mum's and back, it's only five minutes, but it's better than now, you know. So I put that there. Let me see, what type of purple should we go for? Or should we go for a different colour even? This is quite a nice green, isn't it? Let me put a big box on the bottom. Which I'm going to cover up that. But what I'll do is not cover it up too much. I'll tell you what, let's go over here. And I think because I've got that there, then I do need to have something green over here. And I feel like this needs to be lighter, but maybe it can be the middle colour purple that's in here, this one. I think that would look nice. I mean, where I've got the lines on Sunday, that could be a recap of how this has gone. Because to move into kind of like regular exercise for me and regular re relaxation is definitely, definitely moving away from what I'm like at the moment. Um, the meal plan was massively moving away from what I do. So I'm kind of like really keen to make those changes. But I know that I might find it even more difficult to do it that in a way, even than the food because I think it's a lot more planning for me and thinking through. I think I would not quite like to put that one there. Okay, you can see that that's wonky. But I don't know, it could be that box or that box. It might not be that one. I think I can get that big one in. And I'm actually gonna cover up those days of the week to look a little bit more um, interesting. Because I would say they are a little bit dull. I have some in kind of a plan. She's got some. So, can I get that over there like that? Yes. I do quite like that. It's a bit random, but I do quite like that. So I feel like with the sticker book now, it's like it's down to me to get those paintings done. Whereas before, I was a little bit worried about whether the designer was going to understand what I was trying to say. And I think in the beginning, maybe she didn't. But I think now she is beginning to understand and she was giving me ideas. Whereas before, it was like I was trying to explain all the time. So I'm really happy about it. Alrighty. I really like that. So now it's whether we're going to put any washi in as well. So I really like this one, but it's a bit funky. This one's beautiful, but probably won't work because it's a bit florally. This one's pretty. Hmm. But this one. 
quite strong, isn't it? And so is that. I've used this one before. I feel bad if I use it again, but let me see. I am going to... I don't feel like I want to make it into a green spread. I think that's one of the issues I'm having. What's this one like? This could be nice, actually. You wouldn't normally choose it, but... I wonder whether because it's quite subtle we can go for it. Let's try it shall we? Let's move a few books out of the way. So on Monday it's meant to be like we've got this amber warnings we have yellow red or amber warnings when we have weather so whether it be a storm or too hot too cold we have warnings and we never have a heat warning and we've got an amber one so I think it's going up to 29 degrees Celsius, which is about 84, which I am sure you're probably sitting there, some of you going, well, that's not even, that's not even scratching the surface, Nairi. I mean, perhaps you could put in the comments how hot it is right now where you are, or whether you expect it to be particularly hot. I know some of you have been having really hot weather anyway. So does 29 degrees or 84 sound hot to you or just like not really nairy, like we have that all the time? I think as I explained to some of you before, the main issue is that we don't have air conditioning in our homes and most buildings we don't have it either. So if you had a really posh hotel, you would have it, um, but you don't, you don't have it in your home. Or it, you might have it like when I went to have my new glasses the other day and I went in they had air conditioning on I walked in and I'm like wow this is wonderful why don't we just sit here all day and uh, she smiled so it's unusual should we say to actually have air conditioning anywhere so I think that's the main issue when it gets hot and um, for me I think the main issue for me is that I just um, since I had my hysterectomy I just overheat anyway so even though I'm on HRT stuff for it I do tend to just suddenly feel really hot um, so yeah I don't cope with it very well I mean I like to see the Sun and I like the fact that we can do a little bit more I think my health is better in the warm weather as in my asthma stuffy but my asthma stuffy, my asthma kind of is better in the summer, but yeah, I think most people are predicting that they're not even going to go out on Monday, so that's how seriously people are taking it, so uh, it's serious over here when we get sunshine, when we get heat, maybe because almost we're not set up for it, it's a bit like when you're in a climate and you never have snow and then you have like two inches of snow and everyone panics because nobody's got the shoes nobody's got you know the sh snow shovels nobody has any of it because we don't have those extremes of weather so maybe it's just more we're not ready for it kind of thing so hopefully gonna go on saturday to the beach with my mum and take her it's her own beach at chalet but we'll take her so that'd be nice and I'm going to go in the sea because I love swimming in the sea even when it's really cold and I've got these special like uh, swimming sw swimming 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 shorts which kind of cover up a little bit more of my bod and I think I'm a little more comfortable with that so um, not that I'm really really self-conscious but I just think it's a really it's a faff when you're coming out the water trying to get changed and I think I'm quite I'm quite loving the swimming shorts idea. So uh, we'll have the chalet anyway where we can get changed, but uh, I know Mum will enjoy, enjoy a swim and I certainly will. Tim will probably look at it and go, um, how cold is it? Because he's really slight build and I think he, he probably feels the cold a lot more anyway. Um, I think the boys will go in. Are you liking the washi? Let me know in the comments if you think the washi made it i i like it um if you don't if i don't get any comments about the washi then i'll know that nobody was really too fussed about it but i think it might actually have made the spread because it's brought the pink in but you can disagree with me if you like 
or just not say anything. Um, yeah, I think it's it's working quite well. So I will still be putting my weight in because it's now Thursday and I'd have my way in tomorrow where I'll be including my weight loss in here. So when I edit this video, I will add in what my weight loss was so you'll be able to see how much I lost. And the following week, I'll let you know if I manage to get swimming. I mean, if I don't manage to do it twice, if I manage to do it once, kind of thing. And if I manage to do some painting sessions and get some of my paintings done, I'll let you know whether it was too ambitious, whether I need to adjust it for the following week. But I'm really determined to work on my wellness as a whole, not just meal planning, but the whole thing. Really determined. There's the ones there. So they're good because they cover up everything. I like this. I prefer this writing, but this might work better. So let's just find the purple ones. Where are? Ah. Mm. I'm going to go for these because I think originally that's what I was going to do. I might, I'll tell you what, I'll put a goals, a goals one in there. Let's get that out. Let's put this in. Because I might write in what my, my you know, my kind of plan was for the week there. That's that. And then, if I could find my tweezers, there they are. Everything is everywhere again, but that's okay because I'm cool in here and that's the main thing I think. It's much cooler than it would have been today, I'm quite happy. So I don't think I can, mm. I could just show the number there, that would be helpful. Quite big, but that's nice to stand out. Tuesday. So if you've not found me before, please subscribe, okay? And I'd love to have you with my growing family. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the spread and you think it's something enjoyable. Am I gonna try and move that? No, I'm not. Um, I do lots of decorative planning. I do a little bit of face planning occasionally. This menu plan thing is kind of normally a little bit more functional and sometimes I will write my meals in as well. So that is another thing I do. Obviously I'm now looking at the fitness type of side of it as well. So if you're interested in that, it's been a tough old journey for me, not only being overweight, but then being told my cholesterol needed to sort itself out. So in the end it's like, right, okay, I might be losing a bit of weight here, but now I'm serious about it kind of thing. So uh, I feel like the exercise is the next thing to sort out. So you can follow me for that. I do a bit of face planning. I do a collaboration with Donna Smith-Wilson because she's my treasure and we got on really well together. So two for Tuesday is happening. The last one was fun, it went well and I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy the next one. Possibly even more, possibly even more. Right, I'd love to tell you this is finished, but it's not. I have some unfinished business. And I think the unfinished business is in that box. So let's see. Let me see, let me see. So we have a spike in the area of COVID again. Uh, some of our shops are asking people to wear face masks again, whereas we didn't have to. Uh, yeah. I think it needs to go that way. I think nobody likes wearing masks, but when it's really hot, it's really difficult, isn't it? That is scrumdilumptious, isn't it? Scrumdilumptious. Right, I think this one can go on the, you know, butt up against the box as it were, and then I'll just take stock and see how I feel, whether we're done or whether we need you know, even more florals. That one did take forever to get up. I wish I could just do it on camera, but I've just had to edit that out for you again. Let's overlap that there. I think the flowers look nice overlap, the clear ones, onto the boxes. Don't they? Okay guys, that 
is my my spread my wellness planner spread and i look forward to seeing you on creative kingfisher i will link some more meal plans on the end in a playlist for you at the end of the video thank you